In the 70s, there was a phenomenon in New York in which witnesses in criminal court weren't showing up to testify. Witnesses were usually the victims and often sat in the same waiting rooms as the criminals. Safe Horizon began in 1978 by opening separate waiting centers in the courts so that victims could wait safely and get the guidance that they needed. Our work now starts long before a victim gets to court. Our mission is to provide support, prevent violence, and promote justice for victims, their families, and communities. Whether it's responding to child abuse, domestic violence, sexual assault, human trafficking, or other violent crimes, Safe Horizon helps victims and their families heal and rebuild their lives. Safe Horizon envisions a society free of family and community violence. We lead the country in innovating solutions that empower victims to break the cycle of violence. Safe Horizon has the only licensed New York State mental health clinic that solely treats traumatized victims of crime and abuse at any age. Our child advocacy centers are the gold standard in fighting child abuse and have implemented therapies that heal children. Our experts provide training and guidance to practitioners across the country. To meet our objective of a society free of violence, it will take more resources to spread solutions as widely as possible. We need to develop trainings, evaluate our programs, and demonstrate our effectiveness with the right technology, staff, and other infrastructure. One of the things that makes Safe Horizon unique is our holistic approach to helping people. Most homeless youth come needing a safe place to sleep, food, and a clean change of clothes, but they also need mental health counseling and job training. These are all ways in which we're ready to help. Our Child Advocacy Center staff, which mostly works with abused children, recently underwent training from our human trafficking experts to identify sexually exploited children. This resulted in the discovery of even more trafficking cases. Being able to provide deep services and leverage our experts across the organization enables us to affect real change in thousands of victims' lives. The effectiveness of Safe Horizon relies on quality data to guide organizational planning. This includes having insight to develop trainings and other supports so our staff can perform at their best. It's daunting to collect information from the tens of thousands of clients we help, but necessary to meet emerging needs across our expansive service area. This is why we've invested in technology that tracks how frequently clients make use of our services. Training and supporting staff who work directly with clients happens in many ways including by listening to real recorded interactions with clients. This helps us assess the quality of our program delivery and counsel staff who may be affected by working with victims. Safe Horizon touches the lives of a quarter of a million people every year. Our success is measured by the number of people we help, and it's reinforced by the anecdotes we hear every day. A woman at a domestic violence support group shared with me that her batterer told her, you are nothing without me. And yet, she's now thriving in our shelter. Most of our clients enter our care through our 24-hour emergency hotlines, on which we answer 10,500 calls every month. We are very proud of the immediate help we give to tens of thousands in our city. A call is just the beginning of the journey for many victims. We consider our ability to be there for the long haul an essential part of our success. One of the biggest misconceptions as the leading victim assistance organization is that we have the means to help everyone. But the truth is, there's more demand than our resources allow for. Many misconceptions fuel stigmas that prevent important groups from seeking our help. Some think we only serve low-income individuals, but our doors are open to all because crimes like child abuse can affect anyone. 
People also think that only women and girls suffer sexual abuse. Yet we know that one in six boys in our country will experience abuse. Domestic violence victims often think that shelters are their only option when they call our hotline. But our advocates know that each situation is different, and they work with clients to explore many more options available to them. One of Safe Horizon's greatest accomplishments benefits abused children. In 2008, we saw a dramatic increase in child abuse cases and sought the expertise of the Yale Child Study Center to provide therapy that worked faster to help children and families. When children suffer from trauma as a result of abuse, they may become withdrawn or react in other ways that indicate that something is terribly wrong. Our special therapy greatly minimizes these post-traumatic stress symptoms in children who have recently experienced abuse. 65% of the children we treated saw great improvements in their symptoms, and their parents also learned how to help them more effectively. Most treated children stand a better chance of surviving the long-term effects of their trauma. It truly is life-saving work. An ongoing challenge for Safe Horizon is having the capacity to help all those who need us. This has really pushed us to diversify our funding sources. We know that public awareness about our work inspires people to donate. However, people often feel uncomfortable talking about the terrible things our clients experience. And as a society, we do have the tendency to blame the victim. Our response is to elevate the stories of our good work to change social views and build the goodwill to drive donations. With more resources, Safe Horizon could help more victims and in deeper ways. We'd expand our youth shelter so that the hundreds of youth on waiting lists wouldn't have to sleep on the streets or exchange sex for a safe place to stay. We'd provide more mental health services at our shelters to offer immediate counseling when and where it's needed. We'd provide more legal services for the many people we have to turn away who desperately need orders of protection and other services. We'd develop education and job training programs to ensure survivors would never have to return to their batterers to sustain their families. With more funds, we could ensure to always be there for our clients. Though we know that survivors may always carry with them what happened, they can move on to have full productive lives with our help. And we know that more can be done with awareness building. We're tremendously challenged to find affordable and safe homes for residents leaving our shelters. With more resources, we could grow the awareness and support from the public and elected officials to increase scarce housing subsidies. Also, most cases of domestic violence or child abuse are never reported. Even more underreported are cases of human trafficking. With more resources, Safe Horizon could launch public awareness campaigns to encourage thousands of abused or enslaved victims to come forward.